All right, so the Queen's Guard title is out for Season of Defiance in the Lightfall expansion. You have up until the end of the Lightfall expansion to earn this title. So up until the final shape right before releases. So that's about February 2024. And this is April recording. But of course, you remember that this title has a three week time gate. So what that means is that it doesn't take three weeks in total, but there is a rotation for uh, areas for the legendary battlegrounds as you need to do the three different legend ba legend battlegrounds for this title and they rotate weekly sometimes or mostly right before the last season of the expansion they will buff it where instead of being three weeks it'll be a three-day rotation so depending when you watch the video uh you might be a three week three week time gate or a three-day time gate so that's the premise of how long it'll take you uh, to get this title here so three weeks at least right now so let's go over a couple things here for the title so the queen's guard has 12 triumphs in total and uh but a lot of them are passive and they kind of merge into each other so let's go over one that's very important right now which will be the scourge of light this one uh is you getting a thousand kills with the season of defiance weapon so the auto rifle the bow the fusion rifle, the grenade launcher, heavy grenade launcher, and the uh, the sword. So you want to use those weapons when you're grinding this title or grinding any activity until you got a thousand. And then you can switch off them off if you don't like them. Just switch them off. Then use any other weapon in the grenade launcher, like a regular grenade launcher as well. So just make sure you get this one done passively. Just make sure you use a weapon that you like, that you found that you like in their uh, pool and a thousand kills will be very fast don't don't forget about it make sure you do do this at the same time of everything else so so the first triumph here we have unbound unbent this is the seasonal story uh this should automatically start for you during this season and then eventually in the past other uh the seasons after this will probably be at the press some sort of uh, banner in uh, the map directory and you start it from there and then you have five steps. Five steps means it's five weeks of content. So like you'll do like, I'll do the first EDZ battlegrounds. And then after that, do the Cosmodrome battleground and then do the Orbit Prism battleground. That's three steps right there, but it's multiple steps to do those one step, right? So just keep doing them. You can do it in one day if you want to. You can, you can, you can speed run these very easily. So that's that seasonal story. Very easy. Nothing too complicated with them, I'm pretty sure. The only thing is like complicated kind of will be doing getting favors you you get favors unlocked uh by following the story and you'll get it by uh getting upgrades for your vendor and that's what you upgrade it at the helm i recommend the easiest one to probably pick up will be uh melee kills or ability kills i guess that's probably the easiest one depending on what build you're using or uh, heavy kills if you like using like a sword or something of like lots of ammo not like a rocket launcher or anything but one of those would be good to pick up early on to spawn in the favors for those missions the only thing that's bugged right now is the edz one in the boss room does not spawn any favors so if you're wondering why you're not getting favors because the edz one as i remember uh bugs out and doesn't have that uh nice uh, favor stuff now next one we have is defiant key holder this one is doing basically 15 season of defiance battlegrounds and to make sure you use the key at the end of the activity on the chest uh so you're gonna hold five in total and you get some of these from the if you have the battle pass which you should you'll get some of these from there or by doing activities like story missions uh gambit strikes all that stuff will give you uh keys plus there's also keys in the rewards as well for the rank up rep system for the vendor as you can see here, uh, you, you're for you at least to do 15. That's all there is to it. Just make sure you have a key every time you do that. And also remember, use use weapon, use the seasonal weapons as well so that you get progress if you haven't finished that already. So there is that. Next, we have acquire upgrades at the war table. So there's 11 upgrades in total. Uh, when you head over here to the helm, you can see that there is all these upgrades here. Um, the best ones are favor to get other we'll explain why but favor is nice to get the rest important ones would be deep sight decoding which would be very useful to get 
and then you have to get uh also weapon because if, if you get deep sight you need to well you need to get weapon first to get the deep sight one so uh there is that other than that the rest is uh the the bottom the bottom is really good too so like get up get these ones and then but you'll get all of them pretty easy because the quests aren't that hard i don't know what i'm explaining here so in order to get these upgrades it's been the first four weeks so these weeks over here so week one this is your you'll get that automatically this will be done automatically as well and this one will be done automatically so the first three upgrades are very easy to get then week two we're gonna have uh these two here these top two uh this one will be done automatically and this one is uh get 30 favors generated so that's just like getting heavy kills or energy kills that's two right there then week three we're gonna have three more upgrades but this one should be done automatically this one's getting use abilities 50 kills very easy <laughs> you get a lot of enemies that spawn and then this one we have here number three uh 150 kills with defiance weapons so use anything you get from the uh, battlegrounds any season weapons i recommend either the sword or the uh fusion rifle is pretty good with yeah, incandescent for sure next we have week four with these three next upgrades we have this one automatically done 75 energy weapon kills and defiant playlist and a arc and void is uh more progress so 75 is very low and a lot of enemies to do and you would do 15 anyway so it's super easy to get this one is the code 10 engrams you get a lot of engrams if you get the upgrades for them so like i've said earlier if you want to get the engrams quickly you can go like this one here and this one uh, well eh, i mean this one works too uh also this one's pretty good too right if you can afford those ones if you're able to get those ones then you get a lot of engrams i got 59 engrams i could i had more i had over 100 and you want to decode it by going over here and then decode using them or we could do this one too i think this one works too can't tell but that should work as well and then after that it's the last week no i know that's all that's all of them so there you go that's all the upgrades up to week four uh seasonal challenger that's all of them you get them all done and get all the upgrades for the vendor that's 11 that sounds pretty easy then we have listen to radio messages in the farm so the farm you have to go there sometimes with the story missions and every time you finish a week uh of story missions uh you can go to the farm and there should be a uh radio thingy uh somewhere it should be highlighted and if you don't listen to it one time and you did multiple uh weeks of content for season story you listen to it one time you get the progress for it and you have to go back to orbit and launch back to farm and then do the radio five times the sixth one is after the final once you finish we stand unbroken the sixth radio message will appear after the final story mission which is when you go to the it'll say to go talk to crow and he'll have a new mission for you which i won't spoil it but there will be a blinker here in the helm and you'll talk to him and you'll get you the last mission and that mission after that mission you have to go and just follow the steps and then the, the radio message for the sixth one will pop up uh for that one there so that one's pretty easy to do then we have the next three here which is uh bend toward justice grace under fire and zeal appeal uh these three are the generating graces in battlegrounds or the avalon exotic mission uh, or whatever whatever it says that has above so you want to make sure you get all three of them pretty much early on so you can start doing them so uh favor uh, what is this one called i don't even know favor of justice um this one is by getting melee ability kills which is very easy to do uh, I'll, I'll explain the easy ones so for titan uh the solar hammer that one's easy to generate those uh hunter would be um arc strider i think with uh the you just dodge and then you punch and then you that counts the melee ability to kill i'm pretty sure uh warlock uh i did the strand melee and uh that's pretty much it <laughs> i don't know what else you would do with that one and then we have final blows so special ammo special ammo cool uh 
uh, trace rifles are pretty good. Uh, I use a I use a seasonal seasonal fusion rifle with incandescent that spawned a lot. You do get at least like three or four kills in a row quickly to get it spawned in. This one's like the longest probably because it's a kills. And then the last one is heavy kills. Like a machine gun's pretty good, um, or a sword or anything that's like I can kill multiple enemies quickly and have a lot of ammo. So machine gun or sword. This works pretty well and you need to get 150 each like i said you can farm do it when you're farming battlegrounds of course but if you're somehow did not get everything done then you can also do it in the avalon uh exotic mission as well so this one has a is it whatever whatever activity has this consecrated ground uh then you can spawn in favor so this will get your favors there for sure now the next triumph here uh, will be big game banisher. This one will be automatically done. There are so many champions and bosses and battlegrounds. You'll finish this before 15 battlegrounds. That's easy. Next up, what we have is the time gate, the three week time gate. This one will take three weeks to finish, unless, like I said earlier in the video, uh, and then the last season they will do a three day rotation. So there is that. Um, and so it's gonna just these are very easy i duo them i i you could probably solo them if you want to there's nothing difficult about them uh very easy lfg nothing too complicated it to be i think it's 1800 power its default is but you could be 1815 or whatever for effective level all right so uh, it's very, very, very easy to do this. So I wouldn't worry about it too much, but you do one per week or one per day when that's available and that's it. And lastly, or kind of lastly, we're going to have uh, complete uh, control alt complete. This is doing the three Avalon quests. So the Avalon quests are located here, uh, journey and then the Hyants, um exotic mission so we're gonna have i'm pretty sure it is uh control delete ah that that's what this is okay so control, control delete is um when you first do it for the first time um they're not exotic quests they are purple quests so don't don't mess that up um the first time you do avalon you do the uh the puzzle in the sludge or not sludge the gulch right puzzle there and then once you when you lock the cave over there it gives you an exotic it gives you a quest and you finish avalon on normal and that's the first step after that you go there should be a blinking integrator on the helm and it wants you to do some steps with the uh, vex caliber and get the mod for it blah blah blah, blah yada, yada yada do that then finish the run and then once you finish the run the third step the third quest will appear back in the helm and just go ahead and finish another run of Avalon. And that's it. So there's that. I think I have a video of explaining that all or talking about it. So I'll link that in the description as well for that. Then we have the next one, which is doing Avalon on Legend. Now, might seem pretty hard to do. Uh, I did, I've done a solo many times. Uh, it's just finding the right builds and stuff. I do have videos of me doing it. So on Warlock, but I don't know how to really show this other than um i've done it with i've done a duo i've done a three man uh it's very easy once you learn everything about it you know find the rhythm find everything find the cheese all the cheese wish ender cheese still works on the boss so uh not much i can explain but that's pretty much how it goes and that's pretty much the title i've uh, explained already uh just you keep using weapons and all that stuff so uh, pretty shorter video than most of one there's not much to really show nothing too complicated at least there's that so if any comments just ask below and uh yeah that's it for the title